Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. So how about that? Hey, well, uh, <clears throat> all right. So let me start the premise. Um, so we, you know, help out Lily. I'm getting the shop ready, the West Coast Legend smoke shop ready, right? So I'm going into the city, you know, a lot more. Right there in the middle of the city, 34 Peach Tree, right in. Basically, I'm right on Georgia State University campus. Because the city is basically their campus. The more I drive around, the more I realize it. Right. But yeah, today the city traumatized me. It traumatized the fuck out of me. First of all, um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get one of the monthly parking passes for like parking because trying to find change every day for like three hour meters at a time, that ain't gonna work if I'm like there all day working. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. But um, when I was trying to find a park, right, found one close up to the building and everything because I had boxes to bring in and shit. So I wanted to be close and whatnot Mm -hmm. and had to walk four blocks with two boxes of products, like beauty products in my hand and shit. Um, Even though I ended up actually doing this because when I went to that, that spot that was like really close or whatever, I noticed... On my um, peripheral at first, before I rolled up in there, it looked like somebody was camped out there. Like, homeless person camped out, whatnot. So, I'm backing in, and as I'm about to turn the back end even more, this bare ass is just in my window. Like, like, I was like, what the fuck? So, this homeless person is just, it's fully closed at the top, but no pants. No pants, no drawers, just exposed. I don't know if it was a man or a woman, I because I drove off immediately. As soon as I saw ass, I was like, nope, mm-mm, not today. I'm out. That would be the protocol for that. Yep. I'm out. Yeah. And that's uh, a bit, uh concerning, buddy. Yeah, because I don't know, I don't know what was they that what was about to go down. I don't know they about to use bathroom. I don't know. I just know I want to be near it. So I decided to park way in the back. And walk four blocks with boxes in my with two boxes in my arms. Just, I say, you know what? I'm gonna get that exercise today because yeah, I'm not I'm not going through whatever the fuck I'm going through because they'll do shit like that and then still ask you for change. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, so this is true. You, know, you doing that in the middle of the day, like rush hour, middle of the day. In front of everybody in the public, that's a bit extreme. Down, the yeah, you 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 don't got no shame. You, you, you might come your way. Yeah, you might come in. You might just you don't, you don't got no shame. You might just go ahead and ask somebody, "Hey, can I get some change, nigga? Can you get some pants?" Yo, you know what you need to start doing. You need to start recording these moments, Pat in the concrete jungle. Yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Yo, I need somebody just because it's kind of yeah, just hard to play. Like, <laughs> National Geographic, National yeah. Geopatric. <laughs> yeah, I'm in here trying to find my damn National Geo lighter. I got like thirty of them, but you know how whenever you got a bunch of them, you can't. Find yeah, them. you you can never find it. You're like, I'm probably gonna go the same thing. I got a million of them in here, but you know. Mm. But we good. Okay. We good now. We 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 we, we right now. But um, right hopefully uh the rest of this evening doesn't contain any you know bare bum butts. Um, not really trying to go down that route necessarily. Um, I mean you know, uh, 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 I ain't want to go down that route either. That's why I drove away. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. It was nothing but some shitty shit coming after that. But it was it was gonna get real Literally. early right after that. So I'm glad Literally. you left. Mm-hmm. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Jesus Christos. Jesus, Jesus Christos. Yes. 
um, if the viewers are wondering what I'm doing, and after a long day, uh, I, I think I deserve this point. So that's what I'm rolling up now. I'm doing that because cheese. Well, guess what, man? Why are you rolling up? Okay, now roll up. Is it the whole up? I don't know, but it, it felt good, didn't it? Like the rock yeah, it did. Just felt like it went with the with the roll up. <laughs> And you can't never go wrong with Rakim, man. It's All right, let me let me check. Let me check to see what this uh third member here is. If he's did he say anything? You got anything? We are trying to check on Face Mob before we start uh to see if he'll be joining us this evening. We're not quite sure it's, uh things going on. And yeah, prayers up. Face, I hope everything is okay. I'm assuming everything is. Didn't say anything yeah, he hit me up earlier, but you know what? After a long day, my knees kind of hurt. So, uh, <laughs> yo, I mean, like, cause I work at a warehouse <laughs> and I walk a lot and lift, lift heavy shit. If Face was here, he would have got you. Oh. So yeah, yeah, I, oh. I didn't peek. I didn't peep till you hit the button. <laughs> till you hit the whistle. Yeah. Um, you know what? We're going to. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome to the bot. Show with three friends separated by distance, connected by brotherhood, having weekly conversations that you can join in on. As always, I'm one third of the partners, your boy Tears. And as always, I'm along with. It's the other third of the partners, the Padawan here, the intergalactic one. And. Uh, usually we would be along with our brother face. Um, but he's handling business right now and uh, hopefully he'll be able to join us later on. Right. I and, can't uh, talk because I've been missing for two episodes. So yeah, sickness. The name and... of this episode is actually two years part two. Uh two years is episode 104, and this is 105, two years part two, just because uh I had kind of saw this coming where I would be with mm. one partner over one and the other on the other. So yeah, oh, we just, okay. Yeah, we're gonna just flip it like that. Um, but yeah, man, you got your boys here. Um, you know, when it's me and face, it tends to take a more serious tone. And then when you give me a pet, you never really know. We can get serious, we can get kind of goofy. We might end up uh Pat might end up taking us down to Tecumseh Road and uh talking about glizzies. Um, so you never know. Hell no. <laughs> I don't, know. I don't know. The good and fuckery is some fuckery this week, so I don't know. So wherever we go, you know, we gonna go. Uh, definitely got some topics up for y'all. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I'm looking at the docket here in front of me, so I'm definitely uh kind of, kind of poised to tackle some of these topics. So, uh, Pat, man, go ahead, kick us on off with, man. I, I think since you haven't been here in a while, it's only right that we start off with. Wait, what episode is this? This is episode five. One oh five, season three. Good episode episode five. Five. The first season episode three. of season three. The first episode. Good of and I still gotta roll my blood. <laughs> Don DeMarco. Yo, this is the first episode of our third year. I just want to say that. And now go. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is so awesome. Yes. Episode 105, Good and Fuckery, Season 3. And you know how we're going to start this off. Um, So, one day as I was gathering the internet, so I was trying to recover from my stomach virus that hit me one this Thanksgiving. Were, one day as you were what? Scrolling through the internet. Oh, okay. I was about to say gathering the internet. How do you gather? No, you pick no, up? that's uh, no, 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 I gathering it. I, you, uh, you collecting like, some of the internet in your net. Oh, I don't know if I'm rich enough for that. I ain't Elon Musk. I'm only Pat Juan Musk. I'm not even that. <laughs> Just want to know. Uh, I'm not sure which one came out first, but I'm pretty sure the pet one must came out before Usher did the watch this, watch this, and I can get yeah, it. Yeah, I'm pretty he's, sure. He's, he saw that shit because we are down here in Georgia. He saw that shit. He knew. <laughs> watch this. 
He knew what it was. He was like, uh huh. That's that shout out to that Musk. He had it on at the tiny desk. Need a need a tiny desk from publishing. Need a shout out to some publishing. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to that herpes medicine. Oh no, yeah, we, we'll leave him to that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. Oh you, oh you, don't act like you don't know. That nigga was out here giving out ush bucks and ush bumps, <laughs> and you know he was. And what do you got, damn no? We're we, we time for him to come in, though. But it's face mobbing. We have oh. all three of the partners for the first time in a few weeks here. So this is a very special day. Now, for the first episode of the third year, and all three are here. Yeah. Just in time. Just in time. Face mobbing. Yeah. What's happening, Face Mob? What's happening, man? Brothers, 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 How you brothers. Be, man? I'm so How you happy be, to see you. <laughs> oh, you I, I'm, I'm good now, brother. I'm good. Been dealing with some bullshit. Dealing with some bullshit. Giving some advice out to close family. Um, trying to help family through other shit too. Um, but I'm just glad I had the knowledge to try to uh, assist where I need to assist that. Um. Like they say, God put you in certain situations in life and you never know why. So I'm just happy to find out certain bullshit I've been through is for actual purpose. So that's a good feeling. In enigmatic, yet so prophetic. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. A, hell of, a hell of an entrance there coming in, dropping gems. Uh, <laughs> how you be there, bro skin? Uh, after this week, I can't complain, man. Had a good, um, work week. Uh, still got two more days to knock out before my week is actually over. But I've had no real complaints, man. Been real copacetic. I ain't had to put my hands on nobody. So that's always a plus. Um, no, so, not no having to jump in nobody's bed. Yeah, not, not at all. Not at all. We discharge them people. Discharge them out. <laughs> you know, I ain't no troublemakers, man. You? Your face. I already started it off with this story, but... You know, some of the people that you probably work with is some of the bums and homeless people out here in Atlanta, dog. I was about to park somewhere, and and this motherfucking homeless person had no pants on. Yeah. In the middle of the public. He had bare bum ass in his face. I oh, drove, yeah, that I, I oh, drove yeah. the fuck off. He I, had told probably, her, I, I told him when Mom Duke, auntie, I had Mom Duke's auntie, the wife, and the son, and uh, got down slutty vegan, and a bum came in there and punched the shit out of one of the women workers. Oh, nah, I say. Like mm. Molly Whopping. Mm. They be scared, yeah. bro. And, and, oh, and like, I, deal with, I deal with the drug addicts. I deal with the homeless. I deal with the, the little crazy, a lot of crazy. Don't know they crazy. I deal with it all. So please believe let me. Put you, let me put you on how crazy this motherfucker was. We didn't realize the motherfucker was about to swing. So me, my wife, and the son, we walking out the door. This motherfucker had held the door for us and let us on out. <laughs> <laughs> so we come out. We come out. And, you know, cuz over here with auntie. So, mm -hmm. he, so he come out. And then he looked back like, man, let me go get my mama. So then mm -hmm. I look back. And I just see, what? And him coming on out the door. Oh, he went in there with a purpose. He did that over. He, it was something he wanted to do. Fuck that. Yo. Uh, he had we, a point and a purpose behind him. Boy. Boy. <laughs> boy. Unbeknownst, it, it, to, unbeknownst to many, crazy motherfuckers, a lot of them know what the fuck they do. And they pinpoint who they want to target. You feel me? They motherfuckers they crazy. You feel me? Like, motherfuckers... Crazy, but they ain't crazy. They pinpoint their targets based on what they see on approach and how you had the vibe and all the other shit. But crazy recognize crazy, recognize realize that crazy recognizes crazy. You know what it is? I don't, I would say I don't know if crazy recognize crazy, but I think alpha recognize alpha, and I think a lot of crazy goes back to animalistic type of uh instinctual type of movements, like they more like. They moving for survival, like, hey man, I sense a threat. I'm gonna fuck this mm -hmm. threat up. But when they sense something else that's like, hey, yeah, if you become a threat, I'm gonna fuck you up. 
Yeah, like, I, think right. just, I think they just kind of recognize, just like in the animal kingdom, like, hey, all right, we just uh, we just see see like, see our way on past each other. Then, yeah, right you on. have like, like you have domestic you, cats. You you you, you, you willing like, to take it the way I'm to, willing to take it to? Because you ain't got to be crazy. Because I'm not crazy. I don't think. Shit, I, I do, I, I do have I do have mental health issues, but I'm not crazy. But yeah. what I will say is. I am very willing to take it to a place that the average person is probably not willing to take it to readily. I am, I, I am, I am, I am on that Kevin Gates. I, I die. I am ready to lay it all on the line at any moment about mine. Uh, oh yes, and I, I and I think, and I and think that most I in, the, uh, in the world around me kind of sense that vibe, and they just be like, well. I don't really want to risk it all today. You know, I might yeah, I want to risk it a little bit, I ain't trying to take it to that level. I think people send some type of vibe where I work at. Because I don't I don't have the bad days when people trying to swing on me. and I, I don't have those. But I work with the exact same people that be doing that same shit to other people. Other people. I'm just looking at you like, you can try it. And I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to do. Who you fitting to try? I bet it like, ain't me. Like, Who me? Caps, caps, caps. This is a conversation I've had. Excuse me. Can you please get up out of that chair? You're not allowed to sit there. Yes, I am. Who are you to tell me I can't sit? Well, this is my job title. I'm telling you and asking you politely to get up. Well, I'm telling you politely I'm not. Okay. Well, I'm going to ask you again. Then I'm going to switch from politely telling you to politely pushing you in the floor. Well, I'm telling you. Boom, 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 boom. Mm. Now, yeah, do you need some help up? Can I redo that conversation as me in your position? <laughs> sure. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. Get up from the chair, please. I'm not getting up. This is my job position. Get up from the chair, please. <clears throat> I, 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 I told you get up, didn't I? Didn't I tell you to get your ass up? Didn't I tell you to get your ass up? I told you. I told you. Oh, me next. Ooh, ooh, pick me. Pick me. I want to do that too. Pick me. <laughs> Your turn. Go, Pat. Okay. It's fun to be face. <laughs> uh, you know you ain't supposed to be sitting there, right? Well, who are you to tell me this is Sparta? And then I kick him. <laughs> I just want to tell you. I think we're gonna wake up from a dream like Inception. <laughs> Show ass up. This is Because that's that's my that's one of my triggers. To be honest with you, though, is like pure defiance for the sake of being defiant when I'm being respectful. Like if I'm if I'm coming at you with respect. I'm giving you that courtesy and that grace that I should because you're a human being. So don't mm -hmm. try to treat me as less than that in that moment. And whenever I'm met with that, that's like one of my biggest like. The fuck is wrong with you? Why? 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 I hate why why you can't just be normal? I hate that, that right there will set Ooh. me off. And I mean, with kids, with old people, with young people, with people my age, with people, period. Like, it's just that's one of my things. Like, Ooh, please don't Ooh. do that. Don't do that. Mm. Just just let's be respectful and everything mm. will go well. I hate a rude motherfucker who rude to people for no goddamn reason. I come into every yes. situation giving respect and being polite. <laughs> the instant, like the instant, and, and it's like a button. I got a, I got an anti-rude button. As soon as I hit it, I turn to another motherfucker personality. I can't help uh, it. I've been trying to change that shit. All uh, right, I, I know this is this is serious, and you really do don't like rude people, but. For some reason, when you said that in my head, that, like this is how dumb my brain works. <laughs> All I heard was, "Come in, rude boy, boy, won't you give it up? Come in, rude boy, boy, won't you take it, take it, baby?" <laughs> that that shit in my head, goddamn it! No, <laughs> <clears throat> that ain't gonna never get out. Shit. Because it's Rihanna. Take it, take I don't know why I'm like this, it. yo. I'm so sorry, yo. 
third year together and uh i'm going into my 20 something year with these niggas and i'm <clears> still <throat> like this i don't know why i'm like this I'm like i this. think which i think what triggers me is well first don't say shit about my mama and i think the other thing that triggers me is that when people try to play me like i'm stupid when it's What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell are you whispering? Come here, Rude Boy. Boy, I got you. <laughs> I can't stand this thing. <laughs> but yeah, I hate when people try to play me like I'm stupid oh. when I'm being nice. I'm just being nice. No, Don't play not. me like I'm stupid. <clears throat> Being real nice or whatever, but um, yeah, well, fuck it. Um, let's get right into the docket because I know uh, two said he got um, um, <clears throat> he got to wake up early in the morning and shit. Yeah, so thirty a.m. wake ups, baby. <laughs> oh shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Don't, die. Don't do that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Pat. Go ahead, Pat. All right. Uh, yeah, episode 105, good and fuckery, y'all. Um, we're going to start this off. Well, I was searching the internets, right? And um, face this right up your alley. You like movies. I don't know if you're going to like this one, but they got a movie about, well, the movie is called Cocaine Bear, and it's about a bear that found cocaine that was dropped out in, like, the 1980s. And it went on a rampage. So this coked up bear is doing is in a rampage killing people. And they made a movie out of it. And it's actually based on a true story. Mm-hmm. I heard about that. Okay. okay, so you have seen this. All right, all right. Have you seen oh, the trailer? Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> nah, I ain't seen the trailer yet. <laughs> so YouTube, I got it on the doc. Damn the movie. You're telling me that in the 80s, a bear found some cocaine Mm -hmm. and went around rampaging high as fuck. Yes. Mm -hmm. Climbing trees. And the wild part about it is there's nothing about the 80s that tells me that that could even possibly be a lie. Mm -hmm. Like, that has to be true. It was so much cocaine going around, like, uh, yeah, that makes sense. <coughs> that, that check out. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen in the eighties, right? I, I, all right, okay, cocaine there, and now there's a it's movie, like a cocaine cocaine and I'm gonna watch the movie because now I'm curious. Yeah, you know it ain't much that get me curious like that, but I'm very curious about this. Like I, I did not know about this before now, but I believe it and I want to see it. Yeah, they oh, yeah. that, <laughs> I, I that bear is on a different type of honey. Bear that, 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 that Y'all heard about the um shit. polar bear? The T49 polar bear? What? No. Nah. Yeah, so what, it's a it's polar a bear. Made a polar bear? A T2000 no, check it. polar bear. Now, you know how bad polar bears are. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. Biggest bear yeah, in the world. Vicious. It's a, it's a no, human no. out there. It's a human, a group of humans that's out there better than the fucking polar bear. Because somehow... These motherfuckers then crept up on the polar bear and spray painted in black T149 or T49 or something on this motherfucker. So you know paint, that shit permanent. He can be seen anywhere. So now he can't hardly hunt because he can't creep up on shit and he can't hardly hide from polar because <clears throat> he can be seen in the all white surroundings. <laughs> so you got this polar bear walk around with T49 biggest shit spray paint on his side. Don't nobody in the world know how the fuck this shit happened. That 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 sounds horrible. Very much so. Now this is my question. When you tell me something like that, right? This is what again where my brain goes. Now you say that. Yet Peter out here glitter bombing folks for wearing coats, but these motherfuckers down here spray painting po- whole ass bears, and and I ain't heard mm-hmm. a peep out these about this shit before you said it. <laughs> I, they, I they don't under, like the, quieter I, than ESPN with Jerry Jones. All right, yo, let's go. Let's go straight to that because this is my 
I, this ain't got this wasn't planned, but I, I really do have a problem with this. Like, I don't have a problem with outrage. I think there are many things in the world that are worth being outraged about. But I am sick of this fake, and not even fake outrage, it's like selective outrage. Outrage. Like we pick yeah. and choose, oh, well, this human atrocity is worse than that one, so I'll, I'll, I'll vote for that. <laughs> like, no, like, fucked up is fucked up. Good is good. Mm -hmm. Let's let's keep the same energy about everything. If somebody do some racist shit, let's treat it just like anti-Semitism, or let's treat it just like uh, reverse racism, or just treat it just like uh, classism, or just treat it like like it's a ism. Let's just go ahead and treat them all the same, or don't like fuck it. But mm -hmm. I, I can't I can't do the well. This one is worse than that one because this person did no man. And some of this shit, like, let's be honest, man. Like, I I'm tired of also acting like everything is just a thing. Some shit is worse than other shit. Mm -hmm. You being there trying to not let black kids integrate a school is, to me, worse than you a, a black dude posting some being ignorant. Yes. One is, I knowingly know why this mob is here. You're not going to tell me you didn't in 1957. Everybody in that picture knew exactly why they were there for whatever was reason curious. it was. You were curious, curious about shit. You knew exactly what was going down and you was out there with your buddies yelling and spitting and cursing. If you weren't white, I would believe that, but you're Let's white, so I know you... you. You're white. <laughs> you've never denounced racism. You've never, you've never hired a black head coach. You've never went against, like, you've had chances to, like, come out against racism especially when your team is predominantly black and you have all of these black players that you claim you love and all this shit and then you never ever denounce it then you have this come up and you still don't say anything against it so at this point if it walked like a duck and quack like a duck i'm gonna just call that shit a racist <clears throat> I, I feel think... comfortable in my spirit doing that like i'm gonna sleep well tonight like a fucking baby knowing that I just said that. Like, I don't feel bad about that. I feel like that is an accurate statement at this point. A couple of things. Um, well, yeah. I, well, LeBron has, cause LeBron, y'all said what LeBron said about it? Mm. Like, he was waiting. He, he, the media let him down, which LeBron, why are you relying on the media? The media always will let you down. Yo. But, but the media let him down because they never asked him about the Jerry Jones thing. And then I'm also going to say that I think that Jerry Jones should have to go through a list of demands just like Kyrie. But you know what it and is. The though, first dude, thing is denounce no racism. You can cancel that. You know why? I know that. Because when people talk about Jewish people, the those people get together and they give some type of a a, a a kickback to that. They they go against mm -hmm. that. They they fight <clears throat> back and they and they say, no, nah, you're not gonna talk about our people like that. When the LGBT community has their somebody goes against them or someone does something to one of them or say or goes out against their community, like they come together. We Seen, we all seen the Jerry Jones shit, and not, not a nothing has been really raised. What we get it. instead, what we get instead is Stephen A. Smith. Um, man, fuck Stephen A. Smith. Straight Stephen man. A. Smith was give, uh, holding up like pretty much protecting Jerry Jones. Shit, like at the end of the day, and man, Stephen A. Smith is a damn coon, yo. He's a coon. Can't coon. Look at that white dude with his hand. No, no, Stephen A. Smith dude. is the black dude with the glasses that be no. Oh, oh, uh, I, said it, I said it right the first gone. time. I said it right the first time. You talking about the white dude, Stephen A. Smith? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. With cool, a, with man. the receding like, hairline. I, 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 well, yeah, and, and I don't mean I ain't calling him a white dude because I don't I don't think all white dudes bad. Like I fuck with Max Kellerman. Like I, it's a lot of white dudes that are allies. 
But Stephen, oh, see, that's my classification. Cool. He's just an anti-black person. He just <laughs> is very against his own damn people. Like he's very, he can't wait, and he he's don't very even much he's ready to shut the jive at a moment's notice. And I've tried to give him chance after chance, but I, I gotta call it for what it is. He's a fucking coon. See, that, that's see. I guess it's a problem in my wording. See, white dude. That's my classification for anybody that fits in that racist agenda or that coon agenda. That. Everything else is a brother. Now, white supremacists, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everything else, I don't care what color you fall in the rainbow, you're a brother. Unless you trying to do some other bullshit and I put you in the white dude category. So you either a white dude or a brother to me. I don't care what your color is. I got brothers that's a Pakistani. I got brothers that's Arabic. I got brothers that's black. I got brothers that's white. I got brothers that's Asian. I got brothers of all, all nationalities. But I know a whole bunch of white dudes and all of them ain't white either. I um but to add on to what uh Tiz was building on or whatever, but it's it's like every time every time we get to a point that we do disagree with something, they put a Stephen A or a Terry Cruz or whoever right in front of it to say, No, it's not that bad because I don't think it's that bad. Or Floyd Mayweather from time to time when it's Gucci or something like that, they'll put somebody in front of there or whatever. And they don't know that they're being used. This but the this shit that pissed me off, though, Pat. That's the shit that pissed me off. All right, you got that voice right there, right? Cool. Mm -hmm. If we was really together, that voice wouldn't matter. Because it'll be so many True. of us rallying. But no, what you get is a Jay, what's his name? Jay Williams on uh Keyshawn, Matt Max Keyshawn and Jay or whatever it is, the KJM or KMJ, the, 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 the shit with the sports mm -hmm. show. You get him. You get maybe two other people in, in big time media and then you get a bunch of people like us who don't have a large enough platform to really reach anybody to like get it out there like, yo, Jerry Jones is a fucking racist. Stephen A's a coon. Been a racist. And and I think when you look at like, I feel like people are, are this, man. People are the sum total of what they do. Not a moment, because everybody have moments where you could look back and be like, damn, that's fucked up, right? But if your consistent way of being is a, is a certain way, then we're going to call that that that's what you are. And I think over the years, Jerry Jones has shown that he is very ex exploitative of black people, but he is not a true ally because if there's no, if there's no alignment of the black man to his bottom line getting getting better then he has no use of that black man he's if that not black man to, can't help his plantation out for us or to help our cause in any type of way if anything he's there to use increase it. his plantation use it and then get rid of it when it no longer suits his need so i'm i'm i think we've seen that um through his track record, and then with Stephen A, I think we've seen the coon chip activated. Like uh, as <laughs> Doctor Umar would say, like at the end of the day, like as a community, we've given this brother chance after chance after chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. After chance. Like you cannot always come out. Like you can't always be devil's advocate against your people because at some point you just become the devil. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't know like whether it's shock have value for your podcast and your TV show and all of this shit, but I'll tell you this. When it comes to racial issues, I've seen people, white people, or people of Caucasian descent, I should say, like Skip Bayless, be at least consistent on that part. Like, no matter exactly. what the race is, a, I don't think this is right. They Jews, I don't think this is right. They black, I don't think this is right. They, they whatever. <clears throat> they, they Arabs, I don't think this is right. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of other people that are not of our skin tone or racial background that still stand up when it comes to injustice. And I'm just tired of this shit, man. Like I, I, I can't support it no more. Like at this point. I'm I'm good on first take. I I've been pretty much good on it anyway. But you know, you try to stick around and give it a chance. But yeah, I'm good. And and you know, what I mean, 
I'm one of them people too. Like I ain't like Corey Hogan or something. Like I, I if I see Stephen A, I would ask him for the fade. Like I, I want, <laughs> I, I, I want that. This is where I'm at with it. Respect. I'm tired of the public. I'm tired of the public and just the world falling for the bullshit. Anytime there's some bullshit out there said <clears throat> by somebody of all culture or about somebody of all culture that's not liked or something like that, it's always someone of, how can I say, some type of financial or public financial status that has mm-hmm. something to say against it or has something to say to the contrary of it. And I feel like they pinpoint the same exact people over and over and over to show their viewpoints when it's counter the something for us that we're saying or either way, it's always the verses of us. And I feel like they always pinpoint the same exact people who are in the limelight to get their comment or get their opinion. When once again, let's fall back to what we originally said. Who the fuck gives an opinion about what Ja Rule got to say? Where is Ja? You feel me? Like, I don't really... If we talk about some social injustice shit, I don't want to hear what the fuck Stephen A. Smith got to say. Who the fuck are you? You work for ESPN. We're talking about some social injustice shit, some racism shit that y'all canceling everybody else for. Uh-uh, but y'all don't want to count. Oh, he he's the head coach. I don't even fuck who he worked for. The nigga was there doing some fucked up shit. Y'all got Bill Cosby for some fucked up shit decades ago. Get this motherfucker for some decades ago. Justice is justice. Right is right. Stop speaking up for these motherfuckers to try to keep your coins in your pocket and keep your public figure face like it should be. Fuck that. Sometimes you got to stand on a hill by yourself. To make a point, stand that's up, what motherfucker. They tell me, man, like people ain't willing to stand up, like on with on something. Like I can even take you being like, I, I will say this: he does stand on his bullshit. But that he do. My thing is, <laughs> if you gonna stand on bullshit. Then don't backtrack it then, though, a couple weeks later when the backlash get bad and you worry about your ratings. And I think that's the thing that killed me about him as well. Like, he then goes and then, like, tries to, like, smooth it out later or, like, oh, well, yeah, I see your point. And <coughs> you know what I was saying? No, nigga, what you were no, saying no, is No, we don't care. Saying. What people got to stop doing is acting like words don't have meanings and words don't matter when you say them. Like if you if you don't mean what you said, then correct that shit in the moment. But once you let that shit sit, then damn it, what you said is what you said. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. You better come back in that millisecond between the delivery and get the explanation for that shit, or give it the reason mm-hmm. and give you real explanation. Because a motherfucker right. may come off miscommunicated and take your point for some bullshit, and now you stuck with some bullshit. You man, better explain be yourself, goddamn. I, I I say some wild shit. I hit the my I shit. I hit myself with the whistle right there mid center. Like it, it, if I could do that, then you mean to tell me you can't realize that you're saying some ignorant shit and be like, oh well, let me smooth that out right now. What I meant to say was, and like, but, but you know what else it is too though, it's ego too, because it's the same shit that got Kyrie ass in trouble. Like it's the I'm. So manly and so this and so that and so important or whatever the case may be, that I can't let you see me as wrong. So let me double down on my bullshit just to make sure I still look tough or look the part or whatever the I don't know what the ego is telling each individual, but you know what I mean. It's that. It's that you ain't gonna see me be wrong. I, I, I will not apologize i will not say i i messed up man just say you fucked up with it when you was talking and go on here with that like this shit is corny at the end of the day my thing is something happening there's something else happening that our attention is getting directly away from with all this other bullshit they putting out there it's something happening that we don't have it's something happening somewhere on this motherfucking planet that's of some mass importance, but niggas ain't even focusing on it. 
because they putting our attention on something else. Bro. They ain't even putting in the news with the shit, the, the, the shit that's really happening that's affecting motherfuckers that we don't know affecting us. They putting this bullshit. Kanye, Kai, Kai. I'm putting it in the I news. That's what they Bruh. fucking said. They like, putting it in the news. These niggas say what the fuck we they said. listening. The damn war in Ukraine and shit been going on for the past few months. Oh, yeah, that shit, yeah. Niggas just bombed the wrong country. Mm hmm Like, wh what you mean? Like, that shit is still going on. It's just that, no. These other topics are more spicy. Like, even us. Like, I'm not about to sit here. I ain't going to need front. I'm not about to sit here and talk about no goddamn Ukraine. Or no people that don't even know understand their language for no, and, for no and hour. And I'm gonna talk about some I, shit. I, that I, hate for this statement. No, no, I know what's going on. Fuck Ukraine, shit. Oh damn. Fuck Ukraine. I'm gonna say it like that. Ukrainians never did a motherfucking thing for my black ass or any black motherfucker I know. <laughs> fuck that shit. And fuck Putin. And fuck Putin ass too. Fuck Russia. Fuck. fuck. This is my thing, man. Right? America, pay more attention to fucking America. Every other country in the world is doubling down on themselves and bigging them people up and helping their own. Help your motherfucking self, America. We pay too much attention to what's going on. The, the moment they bring our names out their mouth, then we we jump on their ass. But ain't nobody gonna ain't nobody gonna mention America. America's like the big motherfucker in the room with two missing teeth and niggas is gritting and nobody wants to talk about that big motherfucker. <laughs> Because motherfuckers know once you say somebody though. big ass, he gonna lay them donkey hands on your ass and knock you the fuck out. That's hilarious. Niggas don't really want war for real. But not with big bad motherfuckers, not with America who don't really give a fuck who we killing any, any motherfucking thing moving in every fucking war. Niggas don't really want it. So at the end of the day, fuck Ukraine and that whole shit. What's going on here that we don't fucking know about? Fuck them niggas. Let them niggas handle their business. Because I, I guarantee fucking tea, some shit happened in America. They ain't gonna send no aid over here to help us. Who the fuck helped out the last time we had a real, a real, real disaster over there? What other country really fucked it? Ukraine helping 9 11? I don't know, but uh, not that I know of. Hell no. Hell no. I answered, hell no. You know who helped America? America. America the and China. The fuck, fuck Ukraine. Fuck that whole situation over there. Fuck them. That's y'all business. That's like that's that's like us getting in some motherfucking bullshit. Like, okay, we see two brothers fighting. That's like, uh, hey man, y'all shouldn't be doing that. I'm gonna fuck what them two niggas doing. That's their business. As long as they ain't mentioned tears, pet, or face, I ain't got shit to say about them motherfuckers. <laughs> but the moment one of our names come out of their mouth, I'm jumping on their motherfucking ass. Pause. Yes. Gotcha. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I got to listen to more of your rants. I'm sure it's some more in there that I've missed over the times. <laughs> mm -hmm. You try to disguise your shit with passion. I see. Uh -huh. <laughs> I discovered your tricks there, buddy. Well, yeah, I, yeah I, man. I a strong argument to that, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, it looks like we've lost Pat over the way. Uh, like your rant kind of blew him out of the water. Um, <laughs> really knocked his socks off. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to even try to go through the rest of his good and fuckery. I'm gonna just go ahead to the next topic. Um, but uh, I do think that this may, you know, hopefully provoke even more thought so uh here we go i'm gonna play a clip and then my topic is why do we mourn famous people deaths but when a brother across town dies we move right on but, but hold on but back to the church and white shit man hold on god damn it hold on hold on hold on Hold on. Hold on. Oh man, the fuck? Can yeah. you hear when that plays? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I don't I really I overall like his point, I don't disagree with it. You get what I'm saying? Like I agree like 
certain shit shouldn't happen. But I feel like he talk about niggas as if they they evil people doing evil shit versus they hurt people hurting people. You get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like we won't we won't look at a child from the suburbs of a different skin color who had a mom and daddy in the house, you know. Rick. Oh, you um, mute. You on mute, bro. Showdown, ma'am, and uh, Pod Squad. We got Pat back and um, yeah. been on mute. Um, so yeah, uh, as I was actually saying while I was on mute, um, I'm old and uh, yeah. sometimes tech tech gets the better of me. So um, that's pretty much what just happened there. And uh, I'm going to try to now play the clip that I was trying to play for y'all originally. Um, hopefully the sound and everything works so that y'all can actually hear. Um, but we're going to see what happens, man. I honestly don't know um, at this point. So uh, y'all just roll with me and take this ride with me. But again, my topic was why do we mourn famous people deaths, but when the brother across town dies, we move right on? And this clip is what inspired me, so take a look at it and then tell me what y'all think. To extrapolate, he said, well, why are we so sad every time a rapper passes away, but there's a lot of people who ain't rappers who are passing away, and we don't care. And Oh shit. Uh we can't see it, but when you put go on mute, we can't hear it. You mute it. <laughs> <laughs> oh well we're back to uh year one live stream one. <laughs> this ain't you even mute live. It. Uh, okay, so we're going to try this again. All right. First of all, I'm going to start here with it. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Right on. Now, <laughs> I'm going to try this. All right. There we go. To extrapolate, he said, well, why are we so sad every time a rapper passes away, <laughs> but there's a lot of people who ain't rappers who are passing away, and we don't care. And if, you know, in any of these situations, the 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 person who died wasn't somebody famous, we don't we, we lack compassion and we lack all this. We don't, don't know. Y'all hear it? Mm hmm Right? Okay. I mean, that's like me expecting you to care about somebody you don't know nothing about. But um to extrapolate, he's So mm -hmm. y'all heard uh 21 and uh mm -hmm. academic conversation there and uh what do y'all think? I think they both have valid points. Um that is very um motherfuckers die every day from every hood, neighborhoods, suburbs, everything. Famous people are dying, or so-called famous people, I should say people in the spotlight of, of some significance are dying at a at elevated rate in the hip hop culture. Um, he said, why would you care about a nigga dying that you don't know? Wake up. People out there, please wake up and hear me when I say this. The only people that know these rappers are fellow rappers in the rappers' families. So the same way that statement he just made, it rings on both sides of the statement. We don't know them rappers. We know of them. We love their, their artwork. I can't tell you nothing personally 
about none of them. Because even if you read this personal shit that's printed on the internet, that could be all falsehoods too. The only real people who know these people really are people in their circles. So when you're mourning these famous people, remember what 21 Savage said. You mourning a nigga you don't know. Stop it. I can understand being having empathetic feelings for the loss of another. <clears throat> this ain't somebody who has helped change the world on any real substantial level except musically and any death that's happened on the hip hop genre or any music genre or any art genre. They're artists. They enhance us auditorily and visually. They may give us certain significant feelings, but what change is made? We mourn what we love. You don't love these rappers, you love their music. Because well, uh, the same, because I can guarantee the same people <clears throat> who love takeoff music love some of that Texas shit too. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm telling you, man. That shit rings true. Yeah. Niggas need to stop mourning over these famous people like mourning like I'm seeing people like regular people crying like they know these people but your next door neighbor died that you know they used to come over and borrow stuff from you and you moved on you knew that motherfucker he might not have made no hits he may get you a jump one day yeah. but ain't no rapper get your ass shit but music to rock to is gonna be here forever now you so even without them, it's still here. I'm a, I'm gonna say this, and this may be like an un unpopular opinion, but I feel like to be honest with you, it really come down to like the fact that people people will feel things for people that made them feel. If that makes sense, um, like. There are people in your life that you know, but they don't really evoke any emotion in you because they're kind of just functional, like the postman. You know him, you see him, you, hey, what's up, brother? But y'all don't like hang out or like kick it or they don't, they've never done anything impactful. And I think what happens with celebrities is they's all, they're often in art or pieces of music or whatever the case may be that have impacted people emotionally. So then that emotional attachment psychologically like links them to that person like if that makes sense and i think that because of that that's what that's what we see like somebody whose morning takeoff probably has some type of emotional connection to migo's music i personally didn't more and take off i mean i i rp him you know definitely you know respect to his family and everything but i'm not like out here like oh no because i don't you know what i'm saying have any emotional connection to him now when michael jackson died yep. your boy cried. <clears throat> i did i definitely and, did and, and, and you know, what I mean, I don't know Michael Jackson either, but he had a, he had an emotional impact on my childhood. Like that was a huge entertainer in my childhood. That was like a, a you know, what I'm saying somebody who made me feel something through his music as a child. So like that connection here, you don't really you're not really able to shake it. You know, what I mean, it kind of bonds you to that person, even though you don't actually know them. And I think that's the scary part about celebrity, too, like. That's why you get them crazy ass fans too, like because they've been emotionally impacted. So now they feel like I know you and I love you, bitch. We've never met. You don't please love don't me. me. Please you don't walk love back out this time. And then you know what I mean. So I, I think, but I, I think that has a lot to do with like why we don't mourn the man next door, but we <clears throat> do mourn certain people in our community. Like, now, now, if you get, like, a community leader or somebody that was, like, really impactful to that neighborhood or something, then you're going to get people out there having a candlelight vigil, you know what I mean? Or, or something like that. So I, I think it really just depends on, like, the emotional connection you had to whoever the person is. But I do think that it speaks to also 
over time as humanity us like being desensitized to death because I feel like there probably was a time in humanity where like any death in the community was like a big deal. And then over time it was like, well, any death in the neighborhood is at least a big deal. And then certain deaths, and then it became like now where it's like, well, this motherfucker got to be big. And even then we're going to mourn for like a week and then we'll be all right. You know what I mean? So I, I think, I think we're becoming desensitized because we see so much of it. Like it's like such, a, especially lately, it feels like like mm-hmm. it's such a high level of connectivity and a high level of actual mortality that it's just like you're bombarded with like, okay, well somebody else now. Well, what's the next celebrity gonna die this week? Because every week it's a new one. You know what I mean? So but. Betty White is shit no motherfucker. Betty White's still alive. I thought she passed too. No, no, she passed, she passed but my, my thing is, look how long she was in there. Betty White is shitting on motherfucker with that 96, which was 96. Hold on. She did float on. <clears throat> she, it was hanging on. I think it's a, no, no, she was close to 99. I feel like she's been 95 since I was three. <laughs> so I know she got to be a buck 10, a buck 20. At least a buck um, look. I'm looking that up right now. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Miss Jane. Yeah, yeah. Miss Jane Pippen. Well, she did too, eh? Trying to drink some water. Miss Tyson did too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she. Yeah, she passed last year. Mm-hmm. How old was she? Because I again, I feel like she was old. Yeah, she was, when I was. A she was I think she was close to Betty, but I don't think she was older than Betty. Though. Well, no, she wasn't older than Betty, but she was close, so ninety something. She definitely, she definitely was a smack in the face to anybody who ever ninety six crack, because she cracked <clears throat> and that ninety six. That was a hard woman. That's Harry Tubman, boy. I mean, like, she was a stone-faced ass lady. And and I mean, like, early, because I remember I'm, like, four or five watching movies with my mama, and she was already, like, old as shit. Like, my, I'm sitting there with my grandma and them, and she's making them look like young ladies. Some ain't right. I think she was a bad batch of melanin. I thought you were about to say something else. Go spiritual or something, but her face was whoo. I thought you were about to call this thing the bad bitch. <laughs> bad milk, bitch. I'm sorry. That's wrong. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, jeez. I'm going too far. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> wrong shit. But, oh, mm-hmm. but when the truth come out, it does, you know, come out, don't it? Well, it is what it is. And guess what? My ego gonna make me stand on it. So there, I said it. It is what it is. Are we gonna kick it back it to the end now? It's it's I'm sorry, that's wrong. I'm just getting excited. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I don't know. We going back to the good and fuck real. We pressing forward. Are we going reversing? Uh, well, my topic's done. So uh, it's up to y'all. Pat, kick us with a little bit more than GNF, man. All right, I got a little bit more of these topics for you on uh, the the good GNF. Uh, my next topic, because you know we started off with cocaine bear. Um, cocaine bear. Boom, 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 boom. From cocaine bear to Buddhist monks on crystal meth. What? What the fuck? Why everybody yeah. high? <laughs> and just, and, uh, and, like people and people and things that are not supposed to be high, like. What? Yes, <clears throat> yes. This uh, Buddhist temple was evacuated. And meth seem like they go together. I feel like one is about calming and being one, and then one is about like <laughs> let me pick a forehead stab. When the universes collide. <laughs> but uh, hey, yeah, this work at Waffle House. There was a dude that was a meth head that used to come in every Thursday, and he would order a, 
I don't know, back then they had these little ass burgers that had just started being made. It was like these little, you, you remember back in the old days when McDonald's first had burgers, <laughs> like them shit was mm. all many. Well, it was like them type of burgers at Waffle House, though. They used to come in to order that every Thursday. And he would sit there and he would just pick in his fucking forehead. And it was this deep ass gush. Oh, God, man. Wow. I don't know where I'm going with this. Go ahead. Oh, well, um, <laughs> basically, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't know. A Buddhist temple in Thailand has been cleared out after every one of its monks tested positive for methamphetamines, um, uh, with each one being sent to rehab. Per the Washington Post, local officials were ordered to investigate potential drug use in the... I am going to butcher this name. The Fetchabun Fetchabun P-H-E-T-C-H-A-B-U-N. Fetchabun. That's pause, because that don't even sound right. Especially since uh, Fetchabun Providence of Thailand, which is 150 miles north of Bangkok. Pause. <clears throat> you got a bunch of pause countries in there, I mean, I ain't the one to name the damn cities and countries. <laughs> that wasn't my choice. If it was my choice, it'd be Padawan Land. You picked this door. Told you you was going to end up talking about some damn cocks. I told Nigga, you. I, 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 I saw, I, I saw talking about I Buddhist it. monks on Every Christmas map. This nigga <laughs> talk about this. Yeah, no, damn. this. Why are y'all making this a running joke? Like this should be the running joke. Like I, I like I saw a topic of the Buddhist monks <laughs> on crystal meth. Who wouldn't pick that topic to talk about? Serious face, but I couldn't even. Uh, yeah. But come that, on, man. Man. Like that sound like a, wouldn't that be a crazy uh, movie to watch? No, Buddhist monks on crystal meth. Like that would be awesome. That's no the title of shit. Nobody banging. I don't want to watch none of that shit. That shit sounds horrible. Buddhist meth. No, no Buddhist much banging cocks and no crystal meth haze. I ain't say nothing about that. That was just the that was the name of the city. I didn't name the city. They the named name the city. The, the name of the movie gonna be Buddhist meth. <laughs> <laughs> and with the Method Man um feature. It's gonna be about a dude named Monk though. So it, so the name of the movie is gonna in the the way they're gonna spell it, it's gonna be like B-O-O apostrophe D D I S Monk. Like boo, this monk. <laughs> it they booed him out of that temple. I'm a bit of father. <laughs> right the motherfucking we have fucking meth heads. They gonna boo that badass joke I just told. Who this man? B O O O O O O. Boo. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> All right. Well, um, I already thought about it. Oh, Buddhist monks from Christmas on Christmas. Well, the next one on the list, Balenciaga are devil worshiping pedophile. Basically, that's that's the that's how I put this Alleg up here. Alleg hmm? Allegedly, what? Well, yeah, allegedly. allegedly, but have y'all um heard about that? This last ad com campaign they had. They yeah, had I've this heard campaign. You. Real minute amount about it. It's when I actually looked at the like the features or whatever, like the like the actual visuals that they had for the ad campaign. It's basically a bunch of naked kids messing around with like teddy bears dressed up in S and M and sh shit and everything. Like 
So are they canceling them like <laughs> canceling them like they did Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears? No. No, they're covering up. Kim Kardashian said something on behalf of them. The same thing as jo- Jared Jones and Kyrie. No. Exactly. So can I we cancel know. Kim Kardashian for speaking for, for being with the, with the <clears throat> No. Well, these, these niggas are white. The way. You can't never cancel the motherfucker that should be canceled. Yeah, damn. The way Kim Kardashian worded her uh, speak about it, she put it in a way of they should condone it and if they don't do anything to um correct this or to make sure that this don't ever happen again she's going to consider severing ties which is a fancy way of saying i still need to make my money back from whatever deal we had from balenciaga yeah pretty much um i also Damn. want to put in the i, I also want I, to put I will say this. That's some sick shit. Mm. And uh, in Balenci- Balenciaga, like, they're basically blaming the actual person that made the visuals or whatever. Because it, in another one of the visuals, they also have, like, a court case that has to actually deal with the what, a, um, basically pedophilia. They're trying to put pedophilia in the same umbrella as, like, the LGBTQ community or whatever but it was like a piece of a document from that same court case in like the background of the ad or whatever what, so what two consenting people do or two adults do it should never be what a, 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 no 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 oh, we going mm-hmm. to... okay that That's is what... I mean, so, I always had ugly sneakers, but I ain't think they was going I, like this. This is ridiculous, bro. It, now, as you go further into the I, rabbit hole, you, I don't want to. I'm scared to go into any more. I don't want to go into no hole. Yeah, pause. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, the what? the director had like, well, the the artists themselves, they actually Balenciaga is trying to blame it all on the artists and sued the artist for it, but like the artist has some kind of um uh they got like some kind of title like creative director under them. So but they try to put it all on the artist basically. But my thing is and what I've also heard a couple of other podcasts say or whatever is before it actually make it to the world, it. somebody had to sign off on it. Yep. So a, a team had to sign off of it. A couple of people, the editors and everything, had to sign off on it. That's yep. <clears throat> and then any business, there's always several levels, several levels of approval you got to go through to make it public first. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Somebody agreed, like, "Oh, that this is a good idea. Let's do that." And at and at the same, and then they starting to show up more stuff. Like one of the owners of Balenciaga, it actually is an owner of this company that make these grotesque dolls. With uh, I don't even want to get into it, but Uh-oh. yeah, it's it's really? like if you look if you look at the dolls and then look at the ad, I stuff is like no, nah, I'm not. I'm not fucking with Balenciaga anyway. Getting abused, Uh, like getting exploited. I'm just see. This is this is my thing though. Uh, uh. Above all that, my this is my thing about Balenciaga. They don't have anything other than the name in their products that make me look at them and be like, I really want to wear this. Like majority, as I've seen the shirt, the only thing fancy about the shirt is it has the word Balenciaga on it. And it just sounds fancy. Like the majority of this stuff look really, really plain. And their shoes look trash. They look like sketches with the word Balenciaga written on it. They, they look like them shoes that the kids that used to wear the Jinko jeans back in high school used to wear. Yep. Some, some thick ass cane boots. Mm-hmm. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of the whole, 
Nah. Thing, but now I'm definitely, I'm just disgusted. Like I was not expecting that to go there. I'm just. I predict this. Every company that tried to do something to Kanye will have some negative public outlook real soon in a very, very big way. Each company. I don't know why I got this feeling. Watch this. I predict Kanye wins the presidency in 2024, 2028. I can see. I predict that. I predict that once I get everything transferred over to Georgia State, I'm going to go for my concealed license before that happens because I don't trust the world. (laughs) You can get a gun license for Georgia and Virginia. Shit. It's called a Utah permit. The South is pretty, pretty, uh, Considerate when it comes to bearing arms, my man. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah you got to you not jump on the law. This piss. It's like the wild, wild west down this bitch, man. I love it. Looks like it. From what I've seen. Um, yeah. And um, my last part of the fucker is the A report. Um, I'm going to just make this short and fast because we all know your Kanye. He. It's like I said, he's become my Umar. So um, not only that, is he trying to act. The funny thing is, he's actually defending after talking shit about Balenciaga and they severed ties with him. He's actually trying to like, I think probably because Kim Kardashian did it, but he's he's also defending him too. But at the same time, the latest news is he was on Alex Jones defending Nazis and he posted up a swastika inside of a star david on on um internet on on the twitter on twitter basically i said the internet um but on twitter and after that on elon musk twitter he got suspended after just getting it back so yeah that was the a report and um that was the end of it uh i think the highlight of the show was the cocaine bear and um, the Buddhist monks on crystal meth. I thought that was actually pretty yeah. hilarious. Okay, um, man. Because I actually want to see the movie now. So you, you, if if you want it to be a trailer for a movie, mm-hmm. you got me. Mm-hmm. And oh, well, I put the saying, I put the trailer in the docket. So if you want to see the trailer, I put it in the docket right under Cocaine Bear and Good and Fucker. If you want to see it, and then it's Boo, this monk. Well, I was going to move on to the topic I got in the docket, but I want some female opinion on that, so I'm going to say that for our next real live. So hopefully somebody will jump on, on the panel with us and have some words, you know? So, mm-hmm. in substitution, since you brought up Ye, let's continue this Ye discussion. Oh, bro. You know, um, you mentioned the Hitler thing. Now, as in reading the docket, as I always do before the show, I developed some thoughts about this. And just got some questions just about Hitler. Huh? Because there's some other motherfuckers in history that's a lot worse than, than Hitler to me that are praised and wrote, written about in, I wouldn't say admiration, but not as much negativity as Hitler. So, my first question. It's a common sense question. I believe everybody knows it, but just to vocalize it, what makes Hitler so bad? Uh, the believe that systematic a, a, a genocide. Others, and he was, yeah, genocidal to an entire race. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, not a race, but a culture or, or ethnicity, I guess, would be the more accurate term. Basically, if you not, if you not of the Aryan white race, that he, you ain't, shit. You ain't that Let's he thought Dean Dean was perfect, you, which is funny because he's not even part of that race. Nope. <laughs> so yeah. that's some self hate. Mm-hmm. But I digress. 
Christy. I like saying okay. that. I digress because I got that from T. <laughs> My next question. Is it anybody in the history that y'all feel that is as hated as him? As hated? Mm-hmm. As, as hated or as, as or seen as such a negative light in the same realm as him? As a single person, I don't think so. Now, as uh, not to answer your question, I'm gonna keep it concise. Let me not go on a rant or a ramble. I guess would be more accurate. <laughs> no, there is nobody else that is more probably reviled or has a more negative connotation associated to their name directly than him. I also. If uh and if Tiz is done, I also got my answer too. Oh you okay. Um because I feel like I know where Face is going with this. Oh I'll hear you I, I, Okay. But I think I know where Face is going with this, and I think I know why it's like this. No, it's no one hated more than Hitler, but I think that's only because Hitler, when he came into power, is right there in the beginning of the technology age. So <clears throat> it was other people. Uh, I believe Leopold III, he did genocide within Africa. It killed like billions, millions of black folk. The slave trade alone is, is like a couple of holocausts in one, along with it being slavery. So the only thing is they weren't around in a technology phase where we can have moving pictures and have and have video of propaganda and have someone on me recording everything that I'm doing at the time so I can spread my propaganda and fear or whatever. They don't have we don't have that visual documentation or whatever until we have someone getting to the point of power that Hitler did and doing something like that even more. Um, I don't think, plus, plus his propaganda and his speech, he was so good at doing that, that if anybody else would see it or whatever, it made him look like a mascot for that Nazi movement. So that's like having that's like having if you need a target or you need like an example of evil or whatever, that's easy to go to. Pretty much because he made himself available enough to make him that to put him in that position or put that in that status or whatever. And he's done enough documented that and no one else at that time or around that time has done anything or done as much damage as him at that time recorded that it makes it easy for him to be Hitler. So, yes, I do believe there's people it, throughout history that might that's like way worse than Hitler. It's just that we ain't seen that for to us mm -hmm. to, to us before recorded history and video everything in history that we learn is practically listen to a fairy tale because we don't have like recorded visual history to look at it see it and know it as fact through our eyes and even with that even with that nowadays the way technology is we still not sure about that what we see in front of us because we have photoshop we have video editing we can make shit look like what we want it to look you get what i'm saying so, mm -hmm. so it's it's an easy example. We as humans are we're complex, but we're not that complex, or whatever. The only reason we would have words, symbols, and signs is to make things easier to comprehend, so we can get shit done quicker, or whatever. So, no one else is. I want to choose my word choice wisely when I say this. When I say this, I don't mean it in a in a term of endearment, more of um, more of this person is crazy enough to do this. But no one is bold enough to actually 
do the shit that Hitler would do or whatever in this day and age to actually put him out of the rank as the most evilest person in the modern era, era or whatever because he actually wants to be seen in that light I don't even think Hitler wants to be even seen in that light. To be God honest with you, who, what person wanted to be seen in that light, like on or whatever? If you on the opposite end of that propaganda or whatever, if you looking at it and believing in what the fuck he's saying, he's not even seen in that light or whatnot. Um, I'm gonna also say this now: I did I do not agree with any of Hitler's methods. I just want to put that out there because you know how the internet is much at all but not at all at all at all so until we actually get someone to actually top what he's doing and we have proof that he is the person that top that he's doing he's going to always be the mickey mouse of evil he's going to be the he's always going to be the um just the supreme evil evil. yeah in the modern era or whatever. And being that he was the main villain of this particular community, whatnot, that's why they can some they can shut people down a lot quicker than other people. The the problem I the one part about our situation as black people is what is that everything that was done to us is happened before video and visuals damn near or, or whatever so the only way we can actually visualize um what happened to us is through film in hollywood and then film in hollywood lies for entertainment reasons so everything that they put out there it still would probably be the mickey mouse disney version of what we actually went through Damn, but, right. yeah. That's that's all I got to say about it. Right on both stories. I want to point out two things about both of y'all answers. Now, every time anybody thinks of this question, we do exactly what you said, Pat, and we revert to the modern era or when shit is prevalent to us. You feel me? No one ever goes to in history. Because in history, you have people like well, Genghis Khan who killed mil- what 40 million people. He decreased the carbon footprint of Earth because of how many people he killed. I think but we never think of we never think about that. But in our era, in our time, and like the era of our what I can say, our grandparents or our eldest that we have a, a knowledge of that motherfucker was the epitome of just like y'all both said evil the epitome of it to the point that even speaking his name in certain areas is like shunned on to the point where that name is not a name used to name kids hitler's right under satan yes Pretty much. I think the, the key to that is though, like I think we're talking about like the difference between like the the factual record of historical atrocities and then the the record of public perception. Like we all know and have a record and a way of attesting to how much people were afraid of or detested Hitler in his mm-hmm. time and after. Because we get again, like Pat said, like. He came at that technological age when the radio popped off, TV popped off. So it was like a way to like go back and his archive. Like the public felt like this about him in mass <clears throat> because publications from all over the world all talking about how crazy this dude was. I think the problem with people like Genghis Khan or like, uh, you know, even uh, Christopher Columbus back in the day with the natives when he first got over here you know what i mean i I think the problem is like we know the atrocity levels because we got kind of the record of like the death tolls and stuff but it's hard to really say what 
what people around thought about him. About mm-hmm. him. So it's hard to measure like his his name negativity back then or for his era compared to Hitler. And I think that's the hard part. Like Hitler's the only person that's reached that level of atrocity in our time as a single person. Like there's other <clears throat> dick and stuff, but it's like they are always tied to like a country. I think there's very few of them that like rise above the level of their country to the point where they're just them. Like a lot of people didn't see it as Germany no more. No, that's Hitler. He's crazy as fuck. <laughs> like, like he. Be, that's Hitler. Do you see his mustache? Because of did how did you see his mustache? Nationalized speeches and <clears throat> the over passionate rhetoric and like just the you know I mean it was like very dramatic for the time, especially when you're first getting television and you're first getting like moving images. So when people at the movies and they're seeing them little news clips before their matinee start or whatever, you're seeing this dude doing all this crazy shit. Like he looks like a raging lunatic. So it it, uh, it adds to the persona of like, what the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. okay. So yeah, that's why people are probably more even willing to like, all right, let's go get in the bread line. Let's go dedicate our time to making bullets and scrapping metal and all that shit because they were like, we gotta stop that nigga. That nigga look like motherfucking. This ain't the Terra Dome, neither. Like, what the fuck wrong? That? That's safe for real. Like, he crazy. Why he always look mad in his video. There's, there's nobody else that's mad. Plus the attack, plus the exposure at the same time it, that he can record. That, that's the problem. But it's plenty of people who who got death tolls way past what Hitler was able to do. Way, way past. Queen Elizabeth. You heard me. (laughs) Colonizer. Yeah. Queen Elizabeth. And she is looked at as the opposite of Hitler, but I'm just saying. But then again, <clears throat> to who? Not to America, not because of our connection with Great Britain. They are but but to all of those countries, you saw how they reacted when she died. They weren't out there praising, they was out there celebrating shit like, yes, this bitch is gone. Fuck her. Mm-hmm. You know what? You know what? America is a bitch ass nigga. I want, over our country. I want, I want, I want, uh, America is a bitch ass nigga with Stockholm syndrome. Like, yeah. how you will go to war with the country you want to be free from, and then try to be buddy buddy at the end to the point that you crying over the queen because but the, you the land of the free. Because no, nah, peep this though. Fake ass because no, no, peep this though. I want you to think about what you just said and where we at, right? And then think about the country we're talking about. If you fight with your mama and move out the house, is she not still somebody you love? Are you not still going over for family dinner? Y'all not still gonna kick it if somebody fuck with her, you not still gonna ride. That's true. Great Britain is all big white daddy. The mama's teeth we suck from. I know I said teeth, but still, it's just I don't know how that comes across. But yeah, it sucked from came you know off. I mean, like, like <laughs> our relationship with them started from a place of subservience or place of dependence where we need y'all. So <clears throat> you look at a lot of our wealth. Civil War, Great Britain comes over and gives help. When we look at uh, times of war, first people that come look out is is them because. We was them. The colonies that the, the the Revolutionary War, people don't really call it what it was. It was a civil fucking war. It was the first civil war. It was Britons fighting That's Britain. <clears throat> that was literally man. That was just relocated. That's how that lieutenant over there, my uncle. You know what I mean? So like 
it, it's kind of hard to like it, it's kind of like cake. we fought the confederacy as the union and we still hanging with them it was a big gang fight that's what it seemed like this so you know what I, mean? like, I think it's the relationship <clears throat> we, most of the world unfortunately why don't white cry from such a interconnected and you was my people's place it, it's it's kind of hard for people not to be like everybody's interconnected like the people that don't like us they're interconnected still they all like got some type of well I sprung off of you and you sprung off of me and then your people came over here and settled this land and made this and now you're like <sighs> the world is fucked up man we won mm -hmm. big we won big fucked up things <clears throat> that happens every day all day Grandpa keeps shitting in the mashed potatoes. Auntie keep pulling her titty out. Uh, the other two uncles they Who's keep getting drunk, getting drunk, fighting every day. The 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 goddamn Lorraine that brought her nasty ass mashed potatoes and her potato salad with the damn raisins in it. There ain't nobody asked her. Somebody them bought green bean casserole, but nobody even wanted that. Like. So it's just be a whole bunch of weird shit going on. What the fuck it is it? All day, every day. But everybody, all family, technically, which, which is why shit so complicated. That's why you can't get peace in the Middle East because all them motherfuckers is cousins. Like, green bean like, like the like the Zoroastras and all of them crazy ass religions that was there before the pagan religions gave way to Judaism, which gave way to Christianity and Islam, and they all cousins, they all really believe in the <coughs> same how they're gonna be really mad at each other, but they all mad at each other because they it's some bullshit. Nigga, I want to sit by daddy. No, I want to sit by daddy. No, I want to sit by daddy. Fuck that shit. The world is fucked up. It's all resources. A bunch of people fighting over resources. It's too many of us. I don't, I'm never going to call for no Thanos snap, but I do believe that at some point we've tipped the scale to the point where it's just too much. Right. It's too much life on this earth to sustain it, to sustain. Like, so it, it's like, it's natural for everything to be fighting against each other. Like we are still animals. People keep fighting that shit because we smart. Yeah, we smart, but we still fucking animals. Mm -hmm. Remember, shit, dolphins are smart too. You have natural instincts that kick in when shit ain't right. That's why you got people that rob motherfuckers because they fucking hungry, and a hunger pain will override your morality. Mm -hmm. That shit will turn you right back into the fucking mammal that used to eat raw meat that you are. Like you're fucking starving. Okay, well where can I eat? <clears throat> That's why you get mothers who will shoplift for their babies. That's what, like, it, it's, it is what it is, man. Lions, but tigers, and it. bears. Shit. We too crowded. Fuck out the way. You got fathers out here that'll rob your ass and pay their child for if they got you, damn it. And you know what the sad part is? As many people as we got, we don't even need to be that crowded. We could send, a, say we can send a good chunk of folks to all that wide open ass land in Utah and Wyoming and Nebraska the Northwest Territory and the Dakotas like ain't nobody over there it's just wide open terrain send some folk to them wide open plains out there in Oklahoma fill out some of that put Tech some wind turbines up and move to Nevada and areas. We, can, we can irrigate that Put some wind turbines out that bitch. Ain't no birds flying in the goddamn no, The world is stupid. <clears throat> but what if? I, I just where, keep, wherever you put them, just keep them far the fuck away from me. <laughs> wherever you put them, mother, extra motherfuckers. Oh, I hate extra motherfuckers. This month. <clears throat> Ooh, this month. Not that time. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you see what I did. I'm really proud of that one this week. Um, 
But yeah, I was gonna do something to end the podcast this week, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna do it because I want to set it up a little better. So I want to do it throughout the week and then have an official thing at the end of the week. But I, yeah, so that's that. Um, so uh, mm -hmm. this been the first episode of season three, y'all. It's our third year podcast that we've started a third year, and I can only guarantee you that. More bigger and better things are coming. You see, we got Pat in his creative bag finally where he's getting consistently dropping. We got Face coming with the shorts consistently, giving that motivation, still rock, still rocking that smell theory. We got the podcast. Face got dad hats. There's a whole lot of good shit going on. Um, I'm going, I got something I'm doing. Um yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all at the meeting offline, but I got something I'm doing with the website that's going to change the website. But I'll, I'll get to y'all about that part squad later, and I'll talk to y'all about that when we have our meeting, fellas. Um, but, um, yeah. And then uh, it's a lot of big things are going. So please support us. Send us money on Cash App, dollar sign part of tis one, or buymeacoffee.com backslash the partners. You can donate for as little as a dollar there or get a tip. <laughs> And you can also get a monthly, sign up to be a monthly supporter on Spotify or anchor.fm backslash the hyphen partner. Now, going forward, if you want to support us and give us money and get some back, face, how can they do that? Wow. Go to the store. I say, go to the store. Go to the store. Uh, go to the store. Go to the store. Uh, go to the store. Go to the store. Go to the store. Go to the name of the store is rtrayclothing.com. Com. That's right. It's back. Rtrayclothing.com. Fresh with a new line of dad hats and snapbacks. Dad hats and snapbacks. Plus, we got some new hoodies, new hoodies coming out. Uh, some fresh ass hoodies, I say. Um, new partners yeah, merchandise coming out as well. Get your partners fitties, man. I mean, not fitties, excuse me. Get your partners snapbacks and partners um dad hats, man. Get them. Get them. Fuck a fit. Your head might your, uh, your head might get bigger. You might want to grow hair. You might want to go bald. Entreclothing.com. Get your shit up, man. We still got slides. You need some slides for in the house. Come you on, man. Bucket hats too. Do your thing. And and the uh shirt. You seen Rodney rocking it out. You seen what it looked like on on, on you yeah. hey, look, entreclothing.com. Promo code at the top of the page, man. Big things happening. Promo uh, code at the top of the page. I ain't got to tell you no more. I ain't got to tell you what it is. Just go to the website and you'll find out what it is. rtreclothing.com. That's A-R-T-R-E clothing.com. Hey, and who knows? Within the next couple of years, we <clears> might be releasing <throat> the actual first bottle of Pat Wad Musk. <laughs> hey, Usher, get Pat Wad Musk. that shit from me. And you know you took that shit. He was way before that shit me, Usher. Watch this. That's why you got herpes. Um, but um, <laughs> it's been a great episode, guys. I've had a lot of fun this evening. Uh, feel like this <clears> is the most fun I felt in a while. Um, I don't know if that's a pause, but pause this a bit. Um, I I've been your boy Tears, and thank y'all for having a conversation with us. And I've been along with. My brother. Uh, the third of the partners. The Padawan here. The most intergalactic one of them all. And I'm along with There you go. What's happening, man? It's your boy Face in the place. We didn't finish this damn race. Thank you for coming to join our and conversation. Awesome. You could have been anywhere else with anybody else, but you decided to join us. Keep on joining for more content. Thank you. And we about Y'all excuse my behavior tonight. I know I was a little off, but hey, it's you what y'all should have come to expect. Peace, motherfuckers. We out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Did this bitch just text me? The fuck? <laughs>